I would rather jump in a pool of jelly because it is very yummy and sticky. <laughs> this picture though. My name is Samantha Nunes. I teach first grade at Anderson Elementary in Dixon, California. I've been teaching for three years and I was drawn to the teaching profession at, in the beginning of college. I took my first ECE class and I was told that I was a natural at it and so kind of just followed that path and I've loved it ever since. I have an English language development degree as well and so I could work with students who are mostly Spanish speaking. We work with mainly low income immigrant students and they live somewhere called a migrant camp. They leave at certain spots of the year when there's no more work for their families. And so with my students, I get them until about December 9th and then some of them don't come back until the end of January and some of them don't come back until the end of February. And so we have a lot of rotation with students in our classroom. And then the other part of that is a lot of my students are low income and they are homeless. My classroom is their safe haven for eight hours, five days a week. I would rather be a mailman because they have cool vans. I have the advantage of working with students who see school as their favorite place. And it's really rewarding as a teacher to know that they come because they want to come to school and they're excited about coming to school and we build on that excitement and we build on their confidence and it's somewhere that they never want to leave. It's very rewarding but it's also very challenging. That is your highest 36 consecutive months. So your highest three years but we we look at it. When we get into teaching, we aren't offered a class of here is the retirement that you're going to have and this is what it looks like. We are stewards of our members. Um, our mission statement is to secure your financial future and to you know make sure that you continue to trust us. When I was in there with Eliza today, she made me feel really comfortable that now I do know where my money is going and what I do need to do to get to the ultimate goal of not struggling when I retire. But see the difference between starting today yeah. versus waiting five years? Gosh, if I knew now, if I knew then what I know now. I think all new teachers should be given the first month of their career is this is what it is going to look like at 62 years old when you start putting A, B, and C into these accounts. It says the value at age 65 if you start investing. So let's say you're 30, you put 250, then that shows you how that money is gonna grow. The amount of information I received today will probably be one of the best takeaways this year, really, is because retirement is your future. CalSTRS is very supportive and friendly and extremely knowledgeable. Their decisions and their actions have so many effects on thousands and thousands of teachers out there. And we thank you for putting all of that into us because in this world, Teachers need as many voices as possible.